Welcome to the Nightlife Network Spokane's Weekend Preview Show. This is episode two for the weekend of November 13th through 15th, 2015. I'm this week's host. My name is Zach Flannery, and I'm a douche. That, that is, is true. Yeah, that's right. And those voices there are my co-hosts for the week, as they were last week, Dave Crackerberry and Angus Blackburn Jr. Yeah, and if you're keeping track at home, I'm Dave. Yeah. He's Angus. Yeah, I'm Angus. He's Dave. And if you're looking at the picture, uh, he's the beanpole-looking guy. All right. Well, both you guys look like Sasquatch. Man, yeah. I got big feet. Yeah, well, yeah. the fat ape-looking dude is Dave. Man, well, I like cheeseburgers more than I like getting tail. What can I say? <laughs> That's sad, bro. Spokane has some pretty good cheeseburgers. Well, I like cheeseburgers. Oh, my God. Thrifty Scotsman. Yes. Zips. Mm, thrifty Scotsman in the Valley. Holy oh, yeah, yes. I love Thrifty Scotsman mm-hmm. in the Valley. It's so mm-hmm. good, man. Yeah. But they yeah. got to change up their decor. They've had the same picture of that car on the wall like crooked for yeah. 50 years, man. I swear to God, my grandpa told me about that. He's like, I saw him put that picture up, man. I know the Corvette picture, right? Yeah, it's like crooked. Nobody, nobody in 50 years... Looked at that and said, you know, I should straighten that. <laughs> it drives you nuts, doesn't it? All my OCD flares up so bad, brother. Yeah, I've seen it. I just twitch. But then my super bacon comes and everything's oh, fine. Oh, yeah. All right, what do you say we get to the show? It's your show, dude. I'm just sitting in a chair talking into a little box. Yeah. Right. Well, before we get to the meat of it, I do want to talk about our awesome sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. Without we them, go. we wouldn't have our helicopter, right. and we appreciate them. Say so what now? Yeah. I'm very thankful for our sponsors. They're trusting right. us here at the Nightlife Network to do a good job mm-hmm. promoting the music and the art and the culture of this area. Yeah, it right. takes money. This is hours and hours and hours worth of work and Man. it's to make this effective we got to spend a lot of money well, you're not spending it on us yeah what's no. up with that are you well, getting paid no are you no this shit. guy's got a helicopter and i'm eating top of ramen every night yeah he lives in my tool shed in the backyard man shit sucks for him yeah right so the first show that we want to look oh, at oh yeah <laughs> all right now before we get to that we do have a featured band for this episode the band is called moretta yeah dude yeah they're one of my favorite bands like, yeah. favorite spokane bands no favorite bands right on ever. i'm with you they're like a spokane super group sure. right on or maybe they're from north island Idaho or both. I don't know. Yeah. They're definitely pretty badass, man. They're super badass. Well, go make out with them then. <laughs> well, you know you want to. At, at the end of the show, Dave's yeah. going to make out with, with Zach Weir, the Viking guy from Moretta. What, what are you talking The Viking? No, Zach Weir is he, the guitar player from Moretta. Right. He's also in Elephant Gun Riot yeah. and I Hate This City yeah. and, and that cool band that talks about dicks all the time, Thunder and Lightning. Okay. I mean, he's a whore. I mean, you got a, you okay, got a chance. But why is he, why is he a Viking? Yeah. I, the beard, I guess. I don't know. I got a beard. Does that make me a Viking? Obviously. And all the hipster dudes with their beards, they're Vikings too. No, they wish they were Vikings. Yeah. Or loggers. Right. Or so, in the village people. So the okay. first show we want to look at, oh, it's yeah. Thursday, September 12th. And it's at your guys' favorite hangout, the Viking. Oh, you yeah. talk about hamburgers. Oh, oh, hell yeah. They got great food there. Now it's got cool shows, man. That's where most of the damn musicians go to drink. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. they got a good pick of the litter, you know? What? I don't. Really know what the, what does that mean? <laughs> Pick up the litter. I don't really know. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, I don't have a lot of information on this show. Slacker. It's the twelfth. It's uh, which is a Thursday. It's at the Viking, and it features the Marco Polo Collective, and they're a two piece acoustic band. I've never seen those guys play live, but I've seen some stuff online. They got a percussion player and a guitar player singer. Yeah. It's real high quality stuff. I imagine there'll be other acoustic style artists there as well. Mm-hmm. To learn more about the show, you can visit the Viking at their Facebook or their website. Or better yet, you could go down there tonight and get one of their awesome cheeseburgers. That's where I'm going tonight. Yeah, me too. Also on the 12th, we did want to mention Evil Dead the Musical at oh. the Civic Theater. It's its last run right on. Thursday through Sunday. All right. Now, I want to know, is that funny or is it like stupid scary like the new one? Um, uh, they advertise it like it's campy, so yeah, I guess yeah. it's funny. How much is it? I've got $27 written down here. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun to see. Yeah. And again, that's the last week of it. So if you want to check it out, if you were yeah. interested, it's almost over. Uh, the last show for Thursday the 12th is part of the Fireside Music Series Sweet. at the Arborcrest Wine Cellars. Yeah. The featured performer is singer, songwriter, and amazing musician, Ron Green. Yeah. He's a pro. He plays some of the really nice venues. He's a great guy. He's awesome. The show's at 5.30. It's 21 and over, and I believe it's free. You can find out all the information on your screen and maybe our website, but, you know, we're kind of lazy right Yeah, now. I went to the website last week because you told me to, and there wasn't shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was binge-watching America, Dad, so uh, what are you going to do? I don't know, dude. Isn't this your job? Yeah. If you mean job by the thing that pays for the food that my kids eat, mm-hmm. no. Well, sh- still, shouldn't you do, like, a good job? Yeah, you know, do what you say you're going to to do, etc., etc. Yeah, you'd think, right? Yeah. yeah. I blame our interns. Nah, it's noble. What else are interns for? Right? Throw them under the bus. Yeah. Absolutely. It was that new intern, Tim, wasn't it? Yes. God, he's a douche. Man, Tim. 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 I hate Tim. All right, so back to the show. Fine. That's all we have for the Thursday show, and if yeah. your show wasn't mentioned, it's because we're A, idiots, yeah. B, unable to use the internet properly. Which is pretty much A. Yeah. R- oh, shut up. What? Or C, you suck so bad at promoting your own shows, <laughs> we couldn't find it three weeks before the show. Uh, there's probably a lot of the latter. And a lot of the 
of former. It's a good healthy mix. Yeah. All right, on to Friday, November 13th. There are tons of shows in the area, but we're going to talk about four. Two of them happen to be at the Pinnacle Northwest. Also known as the Pin. So the first show that night starts at 6 o'clock and ends at 8.15 sharp. Is there such a thing as 8.15 sharp in music? Yeah, Mm. I never heard of that before. At the Pin, they can do it. It's a tight ship over there. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Mm. The bands on this bill. Tell us. Coma Regalia. Ah. They're a legendary band. Never heard of them. Midwest. They're Screamo. Mm. Uh, Also, Griffey from Spokane Uh, and the former, which is also Screamo. From, from Spokane. Spokane. Yeah, I know You're them. gonna dig it if you like Screamo. But damn right. Damn right. Yeah. I, I used to be in a Screamo band. I'd yeah. be like, Roar! and then I'd go, Wah! And I'd go, yeah. Yeah, man. Nice. I was like, Wah! Yeah. Yeah. Like, like that. All right. That was awkward. Yeah, it's better with music. Not really. Rude. I'm just kidding. So, anyway, the show starts at 6, ends at 8.15. It is $5 in all ages at the pin. Get there early, kids. Don't call the listeners kids. I hate that shit. What? Just, yeah. Yeah, I get it. What? It just makes you sound like an ass hat. It does. It does. All right. Get there early, sheeple. Ugh. That's not better. Well, he is an asshat, so what are you going to do? Uh, sticks and stones, bitch. Yo, you want some? Oh, relax. Let's, let's spanky. Just relax. Rela- spanky. Did you just call me Spanky? Yes, I did. You're a weird dude. Yeah. All right. Back to Friday, the 13th. <laughs> a weird, weird dude. <laughs> the second show at the pin starts at 8.30. It's all ages, $5 in advance, $7 at the door, and it features from Missoula, Montana, Walking Corpse Syndrome. Here from Spokane, Concrete Grip, and Thunder Knife, as well as 37 Street Signs. They named their band after the stuff they stole. Their specialty is street signs? Yeah, their jam space is littered with it. That's stupid. Yeah, moving on. I'm also being told by our intern, Tim, that Project X is also on the bill. Now, thanks, Tim. Mm. Mm. D-bag. Maybe else <laughs> notice that Tim only has one eyebrow. Just <laughs> I saying. Yeah. I, I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, dude, wax that shit or something. What's wrong with you? I have proud Neanderthal heritage. Oh, <laughs> let it go, bro. I, I don't think I can. By the way, Tim, get out. Um, You're done. Ugh. We don't need you anymore. Your Shoot. face uh, makes things worse. Um, get out. Shoot. Your Shoot. smell, your taste... <laughs> I can taste Dude, your brother. Get the fuck calm. out. Why are you tasting Tim? Dude, it's part of smelling, you jackass. I can smell it. I can taste it in my mouth. Stop. Tim smells and tastes. Dude, stop. Know, like a chinchilla's chode. What? Uh, huh? you're, you're kind of making the show a little lowbrow, brother. It- Seriously? Yes. Yeah. Seriously? Absolutely. I kind of feel it. You're kind of cursing for no reason. Yeah, I dude. Know. I think you just wanted to say chode. Yeah. I think that's all you, that's really just what happened right there. So what if I did? <laughs> well, it kind of narrows the kind of sponsors that this show yeah. can get. You yeah. know, it's a good idea for a show. It's like, hey, this is what's going on this yeah. weekend. Right. But if we keep saying like chode and. I'm pretty sure he dropped the F bomb. Yeah, earlier. and if you keep saying fuck, I mean. <laughs> We're not going to be able to get the good sponsors. What are you talking about? For you hippies, what's better than the marijuana sponsors? <laughs> Neither of us are hippies, yeah. I'll tell you that right now. I'm pretty sure you guys qualify just on the amount either one of you bathe. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. You're yeah. like urban hippies. Yeah, you, that's probably true. You guys yeah. both want Bernie Sanders and yeah. peace and love and shit. Obviously, you got yes. me. You got me. Yeah, yes. that, well, why wouldn't you want that? It's unrealistic for one. Right. That makes you communist hippies for two. Uh, uh, let's get back to the show. We're getting way off topic. Yeah. Whatever, hippie. <laughs> All right, back to Friday the 13th at the pin, 8.30, second show of the night. Walking Corpse Syndrome from Missoula, Concrete Grip, Thunder Knife from Spokane, 37 Street Signs from this area, I'm not sure. Project X, that's Bryce Kennedy's band. Uh, I like that that young man. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's got promise, man. Yeah. If you like heavy music, you're gonna love this yeah. show. Concrete grip. If you like heavy shit, yeah, they bring it. Yeah, dude, because they got they got two brothers in the band, man. The drummer and the guitar player are brothers. The Willis brothers, I think, or the Wills brothers. Yeah. Dude, they like read each other's minds and shit, and it's so cool to watch. It's like a different. It makes them that much tighter. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, they're badass. Oh, by the way, isn't that Thunder Knife Band? Isn't that Angie Terry, the the lady at Go Hard Promotions? Yeah, production promote some. Yeah, Go Hard promote. The lady that works so hard, right. that manages like how many how many people does she manage? Like uh, I did an interview with her tons. not that long ago. Right, uh, right. I think it was eleven hundred. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wrote it down here what? somewhere. It's like eleven hundred individual yeah. uh, heavy Spokane bands. <laughs> all uh, of them. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. She never sleeps. She's a vampire. She manages all the bands. All the bands will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> we joke because she's badass and she knows it, and we all know yeah, it too. Yeah. People like her make the music community cool, better. Yeah. And besides promoting, setting up tours, and working with venues, and managing all these bands, all the bands. Yeah. She's also the bass player in Thunder Knife, yeah. which on their own without Angie Terry before she was in the band, pretty good band. Yeah, their singer has really strong pipes. I've yet to see them. I will have to check them out. Yeah, nobody wants you to go to their shows, Angus. Mm-hmm. Don't start picking on me again like last week. It feels like I'm picking on you, but it's really just me being honest uh, with you. That's well, kind of how everything works for you when you're a credulous nutnick <laughs> like yourself. When I figure out what those words mean, <laughs> I'm going to 
Why? Gonna do things back yeah. at you. Right. Oh, yeah? It How will about... be severe, if not just memorable, but <laughs> right. se- probably severe. How about we get back to the show? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, want to yeah. keep this under 15 minutes is <sighs> our goal. 12 to 15 Dude. minutes, right? Yeah, that's way too long, brother. You need to make these like 30 seconds. <laughs> Tell all about all the shows in 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, the majority of people don't give a shit about anything over five minutes, except uh, for their favorite well. TV shows and movies and video games. Well, they're not going to give a shit about a show like this for more than five minutes. How about <laughs> right. that? Right okay. there. You like that? That's yeah. honest. Right there in your face. <laughs> is it? It's not technically in your face because yeah. it's in a... You know what I mean. <laughs> How about the next show? What's the next yeah. show? The next show is Friday the 13th also. It's at the Palomino. It's a hip-hop show. Right the on. show starts at 8 o'clock. It's 21 and over with a valid ID. Live performances by Demon Assassin, Scando, Mr. Snipe and Cordell Drake, Casey, Ivy Team, Mr. Dallo, King Skeel the Great, Halle Vey, Young West, Lou Era, and music by DJ Funk. That's going to be a fun show. Yeah. Especially at the Palomino, like that mm-hmm. huge sound system, great dance great floor. Sound. It's going to be awesome. Lots of yeah. pretty ladies. There's also a hip-hop show Saturday the 14th at the Pin, the Spice One Rap Life Concert Series. It features Champagne James, also featuring State of Crisis, Demon Assassin, Pest, Man With No Name, Jay Savvy, KC, Mad Money, Kosh and Lou Era. Yeah, so back to back hip hop. Yeah, two big rooms. Both the Pin and the Palomino are very large. Yeah, the Palomino especially. Yeah, it's, it holds about five hundred. Yeah, By the huge. way, tickets to the Palomino show are free if you get them in advance, or five dollars at the door. Tickets to the Pin show, it will be a twelve dollar bill. What is that? Four three dollar bills? What? I don't know. They what can't you, all be winners. What are you talking about? That's what I'm talking about. What? What's going on? What I'm talking about? Can I punch him? I don't really know what's going on. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, who's on first? Uh, me? Also on Saturday, November fourteenth, we have the Buffalo Jones CD release party. I really, really like Buffalo Jones. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I got two of their songs that are in my playlist constantly: yeah. "Tumbling Toward Morning" and "Collarbone." Yeah. I really like those two songs a lot. Their new album's up also to listen to. Because before you get to go buy it on the 14th at buffalojonesmusic.com. It's spelled how it sounds. Right. And at 3 o'clock on the 14th, you could go to 4,000 Holes and see Buffalo Jones in store there wow. performing. Two so shows. Two shows if two you're a shows, Buffalo yeah. Jones fan. You can go at 3 and then get down to the Dipper for the uh, the big show. The show starts at 8. The doors are open at 7. It's $5 to get in. $10 if you want a CD. Right. They're a really groovy band. They got, uh, they got a really... Catchy songs. I don't know how to talk about music in any kind of <laughs> eloquent way. It's cool shit. The singer right. sings about cool shit, and he sounds cool doing it. Right. Also, also on that bill is Glenn Case and his band, and he's an amazing yep, musician and is. songwriter himself. He's, he's in, also a member of Buffalo yep, Jones. He's in Buffalo Jones. Also on the bill is Liz Rogneys. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry, Liz. Liz Rogneys. Rogneys. Rog- yeah. Rogans. Rognal. Rognes. Shit. Three high quality acts. Five bucks, yep. the nice intimate setting of the Big Dipper. Yep. Ten bucks gets you a CD and into the show. I hope they sell out. I'm going. Yeah, me too, man. But they are in competition with another big show, yeah. oh, the Knitting yeah. Factory show. Yeah, can I do this one? Please. Oh, boy. All right, listen up, sheeple. Yeah. Invasive, drone epidemic, broken thumbs, children of Adam and Aardvark, all local badasses. It's mm-hmm. all in your face, man. You get free tickets if you just contact the bands or if you go to the knit or if you listen to some shit. <laughs> it's five bucks at the door. Doors open at 7, show starts at 8, it's all ages. Yeah, invasive, man. Yeah. Kill the Illuminati, man. Yeah, drone <laughs> epidemic, those guys are amazing. Yeah, really good people, too. Yeah, you see why they've been together for so long, man. I mean, they've been a band for a long time. Yeah. It's got to be fun doing what they do. Yeah, it's pretty epic shit. It's a great night. There's other shows going on as well. At the Bartlett, the Wild Ones are performing. At the Viking, the Step Brothers are performing. At the Pin, a whole bunch of heavy bands. Safe and Sound from Seattle... Times Change, Crooked Cross from Tacoma, East Sherman, which is from here in Spokane, Keep in Check, which is also a Spokane band. It's going to be a great show at the Pin. Yeah, if you're into heavy music, man, you got two, three choices yeah. there. Buffalo Jones isn't heavy. If you're not into heavy stuff, there's lots of choices, no. too. We're almost done here. On Sunday the 15th, you can go to the Bartlett again. Paper Bird is performing there. I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are either, but I trust the Bartlett. They really do get great talent through there. They, they choose their artists that they have very well. Yeah, that's their niche, I guess. Absolutely. Also on Sunday at the Viking, you can go to Spokane Unplugged. A whole bunch of artists are performing there. They're acoustically Gary Cook, who is the singer for Invasive. Gator Loops is on the bill. Tyler Lang. Jules St. Clair, who used to be the singer for Coming Alive and Lion Oh My. Dustin Hagel, Ricky Deschamp, Brett Allen Manoir will be there. He was the singer for Faded Ink and for So Far. Holy shit, do we have some stories about Brett? <laughs> yes, we do. God damn. We'll save that for another time. There's other artists on the bill as well. 
We hope you'll go check that one out. It's free. Yeah, also, yeah. next week, Wednesday, November 18th mm. at the Knitting Factory, oh, yeah. there's 94 and a half's Too Broke to Rock, which right. features two locals, Flying Mammals and North Fork, yeah. as well as Red Sun Rising and Art of Dying, which you may have heard on 94 and a half if you listen to that station. The show starts at 7.30. It's all ages, and it's free. And lastly, we want to talk about Wednesday, November 25th at the Palomino the Thanksgiving Throwdown. Next week, we're going to go really in-depth on it, but just to let you know, the bands on the bill, Banish the Echo, Free the Jester, Hell Dorado, the Project Kings, and of course, the Mighty Moretta. Moretta is awesome. And as we said at the beginning of the show, they're our feature for this show, but really that just means that they're in the outro credits. But you can watch their video feature that we made for them this month on our website or on our Facebook or on our YouTube page. Well, that's going to do it for this week's show. Sorry to the artists and venues that we missed. Contact us and we'll figure it out. Thanks to Dave and Angus for being here. Thank you. That was easy. All right, and to play us out, as Bill O'Reilly would say, here's a cut off the Moretta album. Bye-bye. See ya. It can be taken away. No!